Hello, everyone. Whoa. Hello, hello. I love your fellowship, but it's time to praise the Lord. Are you ready to do that? Would you stand with us? We're going to teach you this song that I think we did last time we were here. I'm not sure. Praise the Lord. That's what we're here to do tonight. Join us. Bear with me. There it is. Uh -huh. There we go. Now we got it. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord, everybody. You ready? Blessings overflow, living water runs free from your mercy sea. There's a joy I know deep inside my bones, a never ending well where thirst no more. Rejoice, rejoice, my soul. Come on, rejoice, rejoice, my soul. Sing and praise the Lord. Jesus came for me. Set me on my feet and now I'm singing. Praise the Lord by the power of his name. I'm free and unashamed, so I'll keep singing. Come on. Praise the Lord. There's a love I know. Watch me wide as snow. Heal this broken heart when he made me whole. There's no power. That could separate, I'm forever held by this amazing grace. Rejoice, rejoice, my soul. Rejoice, rejoice, my soul. Sing and praise the Lord. Jesus came for me, set me on my feet, and now I'm singing. Praise the Lord by the power. Praise the Lord, Jesus came for me, set me on my feet, and now I'm singing. Praise the Lord, by the power of his name, I'm free and unashamed, so I'll keep singing. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. There's a man I know. Hung upon that tree, gave his life that day on Calvary. But the grave could hold, and he can't hold me. He's not alive in Christ, he's alive in me. I'm alive in Christ, he's alive in me. Praise the Lord, Jesus came for me, set me on my feet.
and he heard and he answered that's why i trust him that's why i trust him i sought the lord and he heard and he answered i sought the lord and he heard and he answered i sought the lord and he heard and he answered that's why i trust him that's why i trust him I
welcome, thou art welcome, thou art welcome. Jesus didn't say, well, if you kind of want this, just ask. He said, whatsoever things you desire, the power of desire, and then your pursuit of that blessing proves the intensity of what your desire is. If you're not pursuing, then your desire is not there. No matter what you say to me or whoever, if there's no pursuit, say no pursuit then your desire is uh, not there. At least it's not there to the extent you think it is. Everything demands fruit, and so does desire. I mean, you can tell me you're pregnant all day long, but if that belly doesn't start getting a bump in there, come on, say amen, <laughs> then it's just wishful thinking. Or it's a faith baby. Come on, say amen. Amen. But you've got to really understand whatsoever things you desire. That desire, that's the raw resource material that God works with. How bad do you want something? Because we spend a lot of our life expecting God to feel sorry for us. And maybe just one night if we just show up in the right meeting, we'll get the winning ticket. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. This is something you have to want. You have to know he's the one that has it. He wants to give it freely to you. But he wants a little bit of... Ex I mean, wouldn't that be great to be out of pain tonight? Well, this section over here kind of wants it. I don't know. <laughs> wouldn't that be great to have the surgery canceled? Yes. What about no more hearing aids? Yes. What about no more sleeping pills? How about no more Ben Gay? Wouldn't you love to have just kind of get somewhere back to normalcy? That's, I mean, that's what the scriptures, pro, not a suggestion. He promises us that at any age. You can't use your age in here as an excuse. No, 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 no. Or your gender or your credit score. Or whatever else we, well, but you don't know what I did. No, then you don't know what he did. If you tell me I, that he, I don't know what you did, then you're making what you did bigger than what he did 2,000 years ago at Calvary. Come on, say amen. amen. Come on, say what he did. What he did. Here's a new word, eclipses. eclipses. <laughs> what he did eclipses what we did. The wrong you did eclipses, uh, the, the right that he did eclipses the wrong that you did. Wow. That's so powerful. Yeah. Yeah. You, you got to, I mean, if you don't think about anything else all evening and tonight, and because the devil just likes to show up with that magnifying glass and, and that, that, that photograph of reruns, it just keeps reminding you of who you were, what you did do, who you did it with, you know, all the pain you caused people. You know, and then we buy into that. And we go to church for what? What do we go to church for? You know? We're, this here's a place of removal. The altar was a messy place in the Bible. It was a place of exchange. You bring something, and when you left, and, when, and God took his portion and left the rest. Come on, put your hands up. Say, tonight, tonight. there's going to be an exchange. Beauty for, Beauty for ashes, garment of praise for heaviness, oil of joy for gladness and mourning. Tonight, I get rid of something. I come here to unload it and to let it go. Holy Spirit, touch me mightily tonight in Jesus' name. Come on, give him a big, big praise. Come on. Oh, 
You may be seated all over the place tonight. Great to have you here in this, just the beginning of spring. Isn't this wonderful? The, the, the weather is so getting so much nicer. And by this time tomorrow night, it'll be even warmer. When we're here tomorrow morning, it'll be even more warmer. And then on Monday night and then Tuesday night, and pretty soon you'll be out there and the flowers and the butterflies and, and the Pittsburgh Pirates will start playing and and right behind them, the Steelers are coming back again. Come on, say amen. And then somewhere behind that, Jesus is going to return. Come on, say amen. It's great to have you all here tonight. How many came from expecting God to do something great for you? Let me see. Never, you know, rehearse, rehearse when you come to these kind of services. If it's a teaching meeting, then you're coming to learn. But if it's a me meeting like this, I got to get ready to receive. There's a difference in your form of preparation, your, your form of cultivating. Because if you believe in this, then the Holy Spirit uses the gifts. That's what we're here for, to operate in the gifts of the Spirit. And when those gifts are working, when they're working, they move through a person just to use them for that point of contact into the people. And cancer goes away, and tumors go away. And sure, we haven't we seen that here over the years? Amen. Haven't we seen some amazing things here right in this room? Not in this room, but how about every hotel in the city? Come on, every hotel. <laughs> some of you feel like gypsies, spiritual gypsies. <laughs> but thank, thank you for staying with us and following the ministry, for praying. For those of you that give offering, if you don't give offering, you'd start giving tonight. It's a great night to start. Come on, say Amen. <laughs> But I'll tell you what, you got to believe. At the end of the day, there's no replacement for believing. At the end of the day, it's not what you look like, your age, how long you've known the Lord, what church you go to, or if you don't go to church. How about that? We've had many hundreds of people, maybe thousands come into these services all over the world that doesn't go to a specific church. Because we're the church. Come on, say, I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. Don't say it so softly. I am the temple. There you go. That crowd came back right like that. Come on. Say, I'm the temple of the Holy Spirit. He dwells in me, and I dwell in him. Come on, I'm abiding in the vine. He's abiding in me. He said, I can ask what I want. And it shall be given unto me. Come on, give him a mighty, mighty, mighty praise. Come on. That's Bruce and Lisa Hughes up here, David Hart. Give them a big God bless you right here. Come on. Who do we have tonight here for the very first time? You've never been here before ever in one of our Pittsburgh meetings ever, ever, ever. Ma'am, where are you from? Youngst we're coming there. I, s I tell you the truth. I say it every month we're coming there. But the last time I was with Catherine Kuhlman, face to face and with her, was in Youngstown, Ohio, at the very place that we're going to rent. I'm talking to them. We're negotiating because it's pretty expensive to go there, the Stombaugh Auditorium. So, but we have to plan that far enough out where we can attract 1,000, 2,000 people. So we're planning that. I was thinking August, so if you're going on vacation in August, just cancel your vacation. <laughs> but uh, now, Youngstown, so what makes you come here? Who told you about the meetings here? Um, actually, I go to a counselor who's a Christian counselor, and she told me that you healed her brother. So I'm dealing with some physical ailments, and she told me to come see you a couple of times. So I eventually so came. So finally I'm you're going to do it. Yeah. Finally you're going to do it. So yes. what, this is your brother here? No, this is my boyfriend. Your boyfriend. Okay, yeah. so what happened with your brother? Her brother was healed by you. Oh, what did... I'm, I'm not sure. We didn't get into details, but okay. he said, yeah, that you healed him at one of your services. I don't heal. I don't that heal. You, that Jesus healed him. Well, get it right, lady. Get it you. right. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> In your presence. <laughs> This lady, one time after a meeting, she's, she waited for me in the hall. I forget where we were, what city we were in. But she said, you know, I can do everything you can do. And I said, well, I'm not sure what that means, man. But I said, whatever, let's, let's help as many people as we can. And she said, but I can heal people too. I said, well, if you do that, I don't do that. Amen. She said, what do you mean? I said, I can't heal. 
If I could heal, I'd be in the hospitals. I'd, be, I'd just go room to room. I'd go to the burn unit first. Those that are in the most misery, I'd go here. If I could heal. But since I can't, and I'm dependent on him, and I need singers and piano players, and maybe we'll throw a trumpet player in here, and a saxophone player, <laughs> whatever it takes, you know, to get people's faith percolating. See, it's all about faith. It's not about feeling. It's not about how good you're living. God will never hear you because you're good, because we're not good that much. He heals you because he's good. He wants us to put our trust in him, not ourselves. We're not that consistent. I mean, how many here could say you've had three great days in a row? Three great days in a row. I can. Who can? I can. You can? You've had three good days in a row? No. No. Okay, you said I can't. I, no, I said I can't. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. Get your language right. What's wrong with this problem? <laughs> but I'm telling you, listen to me, if you'll believe... That's not to insult you. When a doctor tells you you've got bone density issues, you know, you've got osteoporosis in your bone density, he's not trying to make you mad. Yeah. Or when the auto mechanic says you need three new tires, you know, you can't think that he has a demon because he told you that. <laughs> and sometimes we kill the messenger and the message right on. We need the Lord. Especially in this hour whenever we don't know where a lot of these viruses are coming from. Like laboratories and, and just the fallout of all the bombs over there. All that stuff they're finding out. And that was on the news tonight. All the cancer causing uh, agents that just came from this recent episode in, in the tunnels in Iraq. And that stuff goes somewhere. So we're living in a very a very a war zone. And what can protect us? Is the government going to protect us? But dear God, your hospitalization won't even protect you. They look for fine print on how to get out of paying your claim. Oh, your one day past payment can't pay for you. Oh, you're one day too old can't pay for you. It's, it's a horrible system. It's a corrupt system. Calvary Care. Say Calvary Care. Calvary. Best health care system on the planet. Amen. Calvary Care. Come on, say it out loud. Calvary Care. Calvary. Sign up for that. Begin to shift your trust into that. Well, my dad went to church and nobody helped him. I didn't say the church. The church will fail you. Jesus won't. Your church, whatever went, we're made of humans. We make mistakes. We move out of caring sometimes, and we shouldn't. And it, it just happens. But one who never... People out there don't have trouble with Jesus. They have trouble with the people in the church. I mean, I'm all over the world. I, never run, I don't run into people that have trouble with Jesus. I mean, over the, across the ocean, uh, we love them. Oh, we believe in them. People in the Caribbean, we love them. We believe in them. The Hawaiian Islands, we believe in them. But then they have issues. And usually it's because of the church. Something happened in the church somewhere. Separate imperfect, imperfect people from a perfect, come on, say a perfect God. A perfect God. Come on, say he was, he was and he is, he is, and he always will be. Always will come be. on, give God a hand clap for that, I'm telling you. Wow. But, but the basis of this is if, is if I could heal, there'd be an element of magic to this. We see miracles, not one meeting, not two meetings, every meeting. The miraculous hand of God shows up because we have, we have at least a few people that are really laying it out there on the line. You know, but one lady was just looking, she's, yeah, she's getting real cantankerous. I said, ma'am, I never hurt you. I don't even know you. I'm not your problem. But you're making me pay for what somebody else did. Get your mind clear. Push the delete button. Clear your computer. Free up space. Let God be God again in your life. Maybe somebody misrepresented something to you and it didn't work or, or they embellished it a little bit. That happens. Come on, I said that happens. I mean, the car salesman ever try and tell you what all this car will do? It won't do half of what he said it'll do. <laughs> You're just thankful it has a heater and a radio. Come on, can you say amen? 
They make it sound like this car will you know, clean your underwear and, <laughs> and wash your rugs and do everything imaginable. And you're, and you're just being wild and finally get it home and think, I, can't, I don't know how to work any of this. Jesus is your way, your truth, and your life. He's your healer. He's your healer tonight. So instead of waiting for me to pray for you, I want you to wait for him. Talk to him in between songs. What am I going to say? Well, here's a good thing to say. I need you. I need you tonight. I don't want to live another week in pain. I don't want to be on chemotherapy, one more treatment. I've had cancer twice, both at death's door, as a boy nine with brain cancer. And I was 50 years old, and I had uh, the melanoma, lymphoma, all through my lymph nodes, stage four. And two doctors sat in front of me and said, you're about to swell up twice your body size. That's what they told me, twice your body size. My wife was sitting right there, and she said, oh, this is morbid. I said, it's worse than morbid. They had me in the grave. We walked out of that, and I said, man, we're taking communion. We went home from that morbid visit with the doctor, and I just started drinking grape juice, eating bread, grape juice. Jesus, they call on you. So you've got to get desperate. Yes. Lazy people don't receive too much. You know, lazy people get leftovers. Who, who wants to live on leftovers? I start calling them, drinking, drinking, grape juice, drinking, drinking, grape juice, <laughs> eating that bread because I believe in the healing, the miracle meal of communion. And just maybe a week, it was about seven to eight days later, I, he told me, you call the oncologist. You called them and asked for an appointment, because they were really screaming at me to come in and start this treatment. I'd already had a healing experience at nine with three days to live. That cancer was all through me. And I went to a Catherine Kuhlman meeting, right not very far from here, and uh, in downtown Pittsburgh, and it left in like 30 seconds. So I was, I was used to that kind of, and through my life, that's what I've had. But this time, it wasn't going away like that. And sometimes you've got to try a little bit. God's deep. He has a lot of stuff in his bag he can heal you with. But he may require something of you. There's something that maybe something in your life he's thinking, hmm, I'd like to change that. Let me change that. And you, in exchange, you'll get this. God will always make you a better deal than you'll make him. I'm going to say that one more time. God will always make you a better deal, a covenant, a better deal than he, than you will make him. So why, why continue to get older, growing older and aging and, and, and coming up with all these issues you don't have to have? Incontinence, don't have to have it. Can't sleep all night, don't have to have it. Weight gain, can't control your weight, don't have to have that. The greater one lives in you. He can help you with everything and anything. But he's waiting on humble people to call on him. Come on, see, humble people, call on God. Prideful people, say, I'm going to do it myself. I'll find a way. I'll do this. I'll do that. I have an uncle in, in, uh, you know, in Toronto. I have a, a doctor friend over here. And you're just, you're too whatever to look up and just say, hey, you know, I, I need you. I'm in a place in my life. I'm losing memory. I'm getting forgetful. I watched my parents suffer with that. And I, I don't like this. And, and they tell me I have a mass the size of a softball. I can't do what I used to do. I, I run out of breath. I don't even want to walk up steps anymore. These things begin to just show up. And, and all of a sudden, before you even think about it, you're preparing on how you're going to manage. How you're going to manage all this. That's like going to Africa and bringing home a white tiger and thinking, how am I going to tame this thing? Or in my case, I live in Florida. I'm going to bring home an alligator. Okay, your name is Charlie. Charlie, you don't bite no more. You will not bite no more. It's Charlie's nature to destroy you. It's the nature of disease to, 
to humiliate you and take away quality of life. And, there's, and it's been paid for. Say, what's been paid for? Your recovery. Your full recovery. But you got to believe. It can't just be, well, I believe. No, nah, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. You can say a lot of things really easily tonight, very shallow, I believe. Well, I believe, I believe. But you've got to have proof of that. And that means you become fearless. Because what if you should die, you're going to heaven. But maybe you don't believe in that. Maybe you're in church all your life and you never fully realized that people that leave here go somewhere. And not everybody goes to heaven. I hardly meet any people that have said, yeah, my brother, he left. Yeah, he went to hell. <laughs> He's down there burning up. I feel bad for him. <laughs> See, nobody ever believes nobody went to hell. And yet Jesus was clear there's more there than there. Very clear. We've got to get our thinking right so we can get right. Come on, put your hands up on your head tonight. I just got to do this. I, this girl from Youngstown started this whole thing. <laughs> Come on, say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I got to get my thoughts right. If I get my mind right, get my mind right everything, else right along. everything else will flow right along. I don't want to be afraid. I don't want to be wrong. I don't want to be prideful. I want to be respectful. And I want to honor the anointing. I want to humble myself before you and let you touch me. I want to go God's way. I want to trust you yet again. Touch me tonight. I promise to give you the glory. Come on, give him a mighty, mighty praise. Come on. Come on. Now, see what I just did there with you? That didn't take long. That didn't take a college degree. It took sincerity. It took trust. And it clears the airwaves. It just prepares you. It just makes everything okay that wasn't okay. That quick. It's amazing. So let's get back to these people that we talked about. She's from Youngstown. Who else is here? First time tonight? Yes, sir. Where are you from? Carnegie, PA. Carnegie, PA. Yep, Carnegie. What made you come all the way over here to Cranberry? Well, I've been praying about having arthritis in that, and I figured if I get two or more praying with me, the Lord says I'll be there. So I figure if I come here, enough people praying with me, he'll take my arthritis my sleep apnea, all of it away. I love it. I love it. Matter of fact, the devil's been fighting me practically all my life. Yeah. Because I says, I'll never lose my faith in you. So what do you do? He went and gave me prostate cancer to go and make me. Who gave you the prostate cancer? The, the devil. devil. Yeah. He gave me that. Mm -hmm. He gave me uh, sleep apnea. Yeah. I got pain. Going from my neck clear down. Well, we're going to load up all that good. stuff and drop it off at his house tonight. How about good, that? Good deal. <laughs> <laughs> Taking it back. Amen. Anybody else over here that I missed? Yes, ma'am, right here. Hi, I'm from Scottsdale, Arizona. Oh, okay. We'd love to have you come there. Okay. What, what city are you a, in? I have a guest room. You have a guest room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's sweet. Lauren me with the food. Look at that. Lauren me with the food. Go ahead. What, so where do you, what brings you here? Tina and Rick and the... Well, you're Ashley. with the right family. Of course, I know that. <laughs> Great to have you tonight. Thank you very Wonderful much. Wonderful to have right you. To Anybody else over here? Quickly. Oh, look at all these ladies. One, two, three, four. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Gerard, Ohio. Gerard, Ohio. It's near Youngstown. Okay. So you probably would come to our Youngstown meeting, right? I've never been to any of your... Uh... No, but you probably would come to the Youngstown meeting. Yes. Uh -huh. but I, yeah, this is my first time of coming to uh, one of these. And one of I, these what? You don't even know like, what to call it. Like, she don't even know what to call it. What? One of these. Well, Chris, can you help me? Um, how about an Oh, uh, yeah, it went to, to one of these events. This is my first time. <laughs> um, 
Hey, we're glad you're here. Thank you. I, uh, about a month ago, I was diagnosed with uh, colitis, gallstones, you name it. And I also had um, a cyst on my ovaries in which that is now healed. Yeah. And I go for uh, testing next month. And um, I know God's got me, but, um, but I'm also afraid of what the outcome is. It's going to be good. You're going to be okay. And I'm like, and I'm, my mom, I'm dealing with my mom. She is in a nursing home. She has cancer and, okay. and hey, dealing hey, with hey, a hey, lot hey, of hey. personal issues. And I'm just, I can't take it no I more. I want you to spend the rest of the time until we get praying, okay? I want you to spend the rest of the time just getting ready to be healed. Yes. Just put your hands up. Put your hands up. Come on, say, dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. If I've ever needed you. I ever yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Jesus. 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 Come on, there's just something about that. He's my master. He's my master. Savior, Jesus. like the fragrance after the rain. His name, come on, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let all heaven, let all heaven and earth. Proclaim. Come on, kings and kingdoms. And kingdoms will all. But there's something. How about Yes, there's something. How about that name. Come on, everybody. Yes, there's something. Yes, there's something about that name. You get ready, sweetheart, okay? You get ready. Who else did I came for the first time? Or right here, ma'am? First time. Where are you, yes. where are you from? Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Greensburg, Pennsylvania. I heard of that. It's... <laughs> It's about an hour from here, right? Yes. And you left early to get here. Uh, yes. Did you come through the Squirrel Hill Tunnels? or? I had to. Mm -hmm. And what are you fighting tonight? Well, uh, I brought Ed, and I brought my daughter, mm -hmm. and she has... Um, She's allergic to iron, so she has to always be covered because of her skin. Uh. Because she can't get no son. Oh. And he's on a kidney transplant. You're on a list, right? He's on the list, yes. So you take dialysis now? You're on dialysis? How many times? Three times a week? Or? Just every day? Once a day? Every day? Mm hmm well, yeah. How long? An hour? What? No, 10 hours. 10 hours a day. Yeah. Wow. That's why we do these meetings. That's why we do them. We, I mean, our office is, is, is bamboozled with phone calls. Ask Pastor Billy if he's ever seen this or ever seen that. I just tell the secretary, tell them all yes. <laughs> Lou Gehrig's, we've seen it healed. Stage four of this, we've seen it. Yes. There's not much we haven't seen. Sickle cell. They were flying them in from Miami Hospital by helicopter to be healed, and they were healed. My Bible says, now if you're reading the same, if you have the correct Bible, some Bibles, the way people live, they must get the wrong Bible. The Bible says in, in what, Mark 10, 27, with God, all, all things are Well, there, look at that, you know it. Yes. That should eliminate your fear right there. And begin to realize that God has a plan for you to impact that circle you live in. 
the people that know you the best, work with you, go to church with you, people that go to school with you, whatever, your neighborhood gang. But when they see you show up with no walker, no glasses, no hearing aids, not that any of these things aren't necessarily bad, but boy, when you reach your faith out and God touches you, Oh my, and then you get an attitude with it. What do you mean by that? I praise them. I, I, I thank you. Well, glory. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Oh. Then they're going to think, what happened to you? I got healed and happy. Come on, healed and happy. And then when you're like that for three weeks in a row, now you're healed, happy, and you're whole. And then they may say, where's that meeting at that you go to? Where is that meeting you go to? People are taking everything they can in a bottle, in a tube, in a pill, through the mail, to feel better, to recapture something. And a lot of these people will not humble themselves to the God that made them. I mean, there's just, it's so simple if we just humble ourselves. It's never easy to humble yourself because the older you get, the more wiser you're supposed to be. Unfortunately, we get more stupid. Come on, we get more stupid because the older we get, I've seen that, I've been there, I've done that, I bought the teach. I had an uncle like that. I went to a church and pretty soon you're just riddled with experience, but it's not surfing, surfacing in your life. Show me proof. Give me low-hanging fruit of the victory. Because coming out of our mouth tonight should be, man, God has kept me. The only reason you're all still here is because God's kept you. Amen. All of everybody sitting in these chairs tonight, God has kept you. We've all broken those nutrition laws. We've all broken, you know, other laws. And you're still here. Why are you still here? He must want to do something wonderful. He must want to really do something wonderful. I've had people right in the middle of the miracle, right in the middle of it. One was a, a lady that was almost blind. She was in this was in Fort Worth, Texas, and uh, she was she was doubting the whole way through the prayer. She's talking to me while I'm trying to pray for her. I said, man, would you just be quiet? I'm trying to pray. Ma'am, ma'am, you came here to get a prayer and a healing, not to talk to me. And she just, and then she's saying, I don't know, I don't know this. And I took my hands away. She says, I don't know, I don't know why this, I, oh my God. And then the sight came back and the color came back. And then you know what she said to me? I'm so sorry. What are you sorry for? I had you all wrong. Well, a lot of people do. What's this going to cost me? Nothing. What's your name? Lone Ranger. <laughs> Where's Tonto? He took the night off. Come on, somebody help me. Give God a shout. Come on, give God a shout. Come on, come on. There's nothing too big here tonight, and there's nothing too small, but see, I can't do that part for you. I can't desire for you. You should desire yourself. I can't humble for you. You have to be humble. I, I don't know if you're, you want your crooked toes to be straight or, or if you want your ears to open. I mean, whatever you want, but that's, this is the night that you come to really, and you, you lay out that list, that, that laundry list, and you go for it. And then you don't doubt the whole way home. I don't know what that guy was doing. You just ruined everything. You gotta believe. The first time I saw Catherine Coleman, I thought, I told my grandmother, how's that old woman gonna help me? That's what I was terrible. I, I've lived to regret that day a thousand times. I've died a thousand deaths because of that. I didn't even know her, and I was judging her because I thought she was old. She was younger than I am now, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but boy, when that old bony hand, when her bony hand touched me, I could see the bones in her hands. She had such long fingers. She did. And I thought, oh, Lord, what's this? And when that thing hit me, four rows of people fell with me, four rows. All went under the power down in Presby Church in downtown Pittsburgh. 
We laid on the marble floor. Some were laying on the pews. And you couldn't get up. You couldn't get up. And she later called us trophies of grace. If you were healed under her ministry, she would call you, you're one of my trophies, Billy. You're one of my trophies of grace. Making it very clear, I didn't do this. Well, God didn't stop. He didn't stop doing that. He don't favor any one person over another. But what he favors is faith. You've got to push past your stuff that's telling you you can't. I can't do that for you. We can sing here until, you know, till tomorrow morning. But if you don't forgive yourself, you've got to cultivate this. You've got to believe this 24-7. You know, I mean, people trust here in Pennsylvania, in Punxsutawney Phil, more than they do for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Well, he said, we're going to have six more weeks. That's going to be six more weeks. My God, if you believe the word of God like that, we'd have revival coast to coast. What punks of Tony Phil says goes. I think they'd just shoot the groundhog. That's what I think. Just shoot that. <laughs> Get rid of that counterfeit guy. Now, somebody's getting mercy for field up here. Who else here tonight? Come on. Where, who else is here for a touch from somewhere? First, yes, sir. The villages. Well, you lived in the same state that I do. How long have you been in the villages? Ten years. Like it? Love it. Love it. You wake up and say, which golf course do I play on today? Or tennis court or pickleball. Or te wow. That's a place to go to stay in shape, isn't it? Yeah. Glad to have you tonight. Thank you. Glad to, Glad have to you. be here. And you, sir? You're from? I'm from Irwin. I'm here for him. You're here for him and, and you. Him and you. That's my dad. Yep. That's your dad. Okay. And, and your name is? Tim. Tim. Your name? Sam. Sam. Sam who? McDowell. Sam McDowell. I, I think I might have your baseball card at home in my, one of my boxes. <laughs> this guy was a famous baseball player for the Cleveland Indians, right? Yeah. And, and, and the Yankees. And the Pirates? Pirates. Who, who played for the Giants. Pirates when you played? Who played for the Pirates? 75. But who was the pitcher? Who, give me some names. Bob Moose. Bob Moose. Uh, Bob Veal. Oh, wow. Uh, before that. Uh, Elroy Face. Uh, Elroy Face. Bill Verdon. Bill Verdon. Bill Mass. Bill Mass. He's from my hometown, Bill Mass. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your cousin? We might as well just get some food and have a big <laughs> dinner here tonight, I'll tell you. <laughs> Let's give our friends up here a big God bless you. Come on. Thank you. Over here. Anybody over here? Yes, sir. Talk to me. Shingles. That's what you have around the chest? Or? That's around my head and neck. And um, I, think, I have faith it'll go away as it's supposed to. But uh, Sometimes you need some help. That's for sure. That's all. Yeah. You add somebody else's faith to your faith. Amen. Right. Quit making a big deal about it. I mean, the big deal is Jesus. Right. He paid the price. Whether you pay with a credit card or cash doesn't matter to him. He paid the price, right? Yeah. So you're, you're fighting the pain of that? What? Yeah, the pain. It's, that, uh, it's very bad. It's hard to sleep. And I go through, I go through my day, but uh, I, I, I have faith that it will go away like it's supposed to, but because uh, um, you're, you're used to help. All I can say is if you're asking me the question, I don't know if anybody's asking this question, but I hear this a lot. I have the faith, but I have the faith, but... Maybe you do, but maybe you need something in addition. Maybe you need a little bit of additive. Maybe you need the faith. You know, whenever Paul shook off the snake, he didn't use the name of Jesus. His faith was so strong, he didn't have to even use the name. Paul was up there. Some of these other guys, they were up there. Peter just used the shadow. So I'm saying they grew, their faith grew. Your faith can grow where it's because of Jesus, but you don't have to add all that stuff. But when you don't have that kind of faith, then you've got to add that name, maybe add the blood, maybe add a scripture. You've got to begin to throw more stuff into the soup. Right? I can't hear you. Oh. But I think that's amazing. That's a wonderful. That shingles is going to go away tonight. You're leaving here shingle-free tonight, I'm telling you. 
Anybody else over here? Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm from Martins Ferry, Ohio. From where? Martins Ferry, Ohio. Okay. Right across the river from Wheeling, West Virginia. Okay. Yeah. What brings you here tonight? With Diane. Okay. Well, great to have you both here tonight. That's wonderful. <laughs> it's nice. Anybody else? Anybody else? Yes, sir. Yes, my name's Bill. Hey, Bill. Okay. And I came today with my friend Marlene. Okay. And we, Dana. Mm hmm And the whole left side of my body right now is sore from my neck all the way down. What happened? I don't know. I was in a uh, procedure with Gulls the Kidney Stones in November. And uh, after the operation, my teeth started to chatter. And it was fine until about th two weeks ago. It started, wow. started again, and this pain in my neck and my arm. Mm -hmm. Everything's on the left side. Well, we're excited tonight that God's going to touch you. Yeah. That's it. It's going to touch you. And sometimes it may take more than one. We just got to be committed to it. Is that right? We got to be committed to it. We're here tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock for Bible teaching and prayer. We're here again tomorrow night for another service, 7 o'clock. And we're just hoping that you can make one or both of those. And if you're watching by stream at home, we're so glad. Give the people at home a big God bless you tonight. Yeah. Do we have any testimonies here tonight? Have anybody's been healed in one of our meetings? Anybody at all been touched? Right over here? Come and tell me, sir, what happened. Anybody else over here? Yeah, come and tell me what happened. Yeah, come and tell me. Yeah. What happened? We, how long ago was this? I'm at last, uh, the last meeting last month, um, Sunday, you were talking and talking, and I felt my shoulder is killing me. It's starting to get warm. Okay. And it more warmer. I got through the, the night in that, and I could move my hand around. It wasn't bothering me at all. And through the night, didn't bother me the next day. And I was going to come over on Monday and tell you about it. I had an emergency. I had to go to the bathroom. I come back out. There were 25, 30 people here, and I can't stand that long. But um, I come tonight to let you know. He got a healing. Come on, give God a shout. Very nice. I got, I, I got, I need another healing. Pastor. Another no. one? Yeah, really, this one's bad. It's, I had my cataracts taken out about three years ago. Okay. And my my vision is getting cloudier and cloudier, you know, and it's, uh, it's terrible. I'm really nervous. Now, here's about the case right here. See, uh, good to see you again. Good to see you. Here's the case. For, you you got to make sure when, when you get a healing. Come on. You, got, you just can't say thank you, Jesus, and give him a thumbs up. You got to really, you know why? Because he needs another one. Your praise will carry you the whole way to the rapture. Your, your thankful heart, I should say. You got to be grateful. You just got to be grateful. That's the first code of honor is being grateful for what God has done past tense. And it builds your faith to fight the giant. David said, he, he delivered me out of the paw of the lion, and out of the paw of the bear, and, and now he's going to deliver me out of the hand of the giant. Keeping a record. If the devil can keep records of your bad stuff, then you can keep records of your good stuff and of God's good stuff. Come on, give him praise. That's wonderful. Yeah. So this is cataracts, both eyes? Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and so what can't you see at the moment here? Um, I can see, uh, but it's like, um, it's like a little blurry. Okay. And, and no. you're sure it's cataracts, though? Yeah. You went, and hit, you went well, to an optometrist or what? I had the cataracts removed, ah, okay. but I, I, where I messed up, they took them onto a laser, and I haven't been the same. I had all kind of friends. They What's had about them, to change? Wait a minute. They had them cut out, and they didn't have no problems. I'm the lucky guy to go with the laser, and I spent, I got over $6,000 in these two. Oh, now we know what's going on. <laughs> well, that's already paid for, thanks to my baby here, and um you're the, you're, just, you're, the, you're the baby with the money yeah, right here. Yeah. She, she controls the gum band. The gum band? On the head of lettuce. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm learning a lot here tonight, I'll tell you that. I could give you an education. I'll, I'll bet you. you could. 
precious. But really, uh, this family is precious. This family is precious. We thank the Holy Spirit. We thank the Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you. Thank you. There it goes. That's it. That's it. Oh, scales from belly. scales from the eyes. Scales from the eyes. Give me a slap eyes. on the other cheek. Give me a slap on the other cheek. <laughs> scales from the eyes. Go ahead. That's it. I love it. I love it. Those are healing. Sla those are healing slaps. I, oh, I love it. Come on, give God a shout. Come on. Check it. It's working. You know, it's, it's working. That means it's better? Yeah, it's a little better. A little, just a little bit better. Okay. Maybe a couple more slaps. <laughs> the next one's a knock. I'm sorry, I'll take it. I'll take it. Come on, give God a shout. Yes. What happened to your race, sir? What happened? I was having all kind of pain with my lower back. Uh-huh. And scoliosis, deteriorating discs, uh, arthritis real bad, mm -hmm. pinching the sciatic nerve. I was getting epidural shots. Oh, Lord. Well, last December you laid hands on me and you had a word of knowledge. And I had x-rays done in January. It was my time for the x-ray thing. I still had the scoliosis, and the arthritis is, went down a bit, but I have no pain. I have no restriction in movement. And evidently, the x-rays never caught up with my body yet. <laughs> you know, you got to understand that God isn't just powerful. He's smart. And he knows sometimes if he gives you it all at once, what well, pay attention, he may never see you again. He loves you more than you love your healing. He wants you. You're after a healing. He's after you. You're after money. He's after you. You're after friendships and business. He's after you. And so sometimes he'll just kind of give that delayed healing in, in segments because he gets to see you more often. And he knows if he can just get around you several times that you're going to catch what he wants you to catch, which is what? Full time. Come on, say, I'm so in love with Jesus. You know, that's, that's exactly what he wants. He wants that steady connection, that flow, that relationship. And one of the ways he does that is he just gives you, he delays some of that. I, this was wonderful. I mean, he's out of pain. When you have pain, you can't think right. You know, when you have pain, you don't smell good. Come on, say Amen. When you have pain, you're limited in what you can do each and every day of your life because your mind gets shifts over to that pain. But when you get pain free, there's more peace in your body. And your mind can work for you. That's a big part of this. That's probably 75% of this. Give God a big shout. Come on, that's powerful. That might be touch of a Holy Ghost. Wow. Oh my, here we are. Who's this Shirley Temple right here? <laughs> this is one of the greatest miracles we've seen recently. I really believe this. What do you, this proof or what is yes. this? Yes. This is from the doctor? Yes. This is from her therapist when she first went in and had started in the severity of this all. Can you give a quick, a quick, in case somebody doesn't know the story here of your precious, this is your granddaughter, right? No, this is our daughter. Your daughter. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, here, can I hold this a minute? Because sure, I want to take a peek ahead. at it while you're talking. Yeah. This one is the first, and this one is the final one because she the got doctor? dismissed. What's the, what's the doctor's it's name? It's the hospital, Hammett Hospital. And that's the, down here is her therapist. Kerner. Speech therapist. Stephanie Kerner. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, when she was two, two and a half, mm -hmm. um, we had been watching Pastor Billy for about a year, every day. And she was two and a half. Um, she was diagnosed with a crooked jaw because she wasn't talking. And when she entered speech in one of these papers, this one, they evaluated her at three and a half and said she could only make noise and only one word. 
so when he prayed for her, God touched her jaw within a week, and it, it's, we watched it straighten. And then the therapist come back and said something happened to her. What happened to her? Well, Jesus is what happened to her. Amen. But then they said because her jaw was so crooked that her tongue couldn't move. So her tongue was more or less like paralyzed. And so we come back here, and he prayed over her again. And the first two are free. The first two prayers. <laughs> and within two weeks, the therapist come back. It's amazing. And said, you know, about her tongue, and it'll take a long time for her to, to talk, and just kind of, you know, their diagnosis. And when she was sitting there, I witnessed it. The tongue just started going out of her mouth, like rampant all over. You couldn't do that before. Mm -mm, not at all. Not at all. And the first word she said after we came here the next time was Pastor Billy Burke. And so wow. she loves Pastor Billy. And so then um, she went into the speech in the hospital and they gave her a severe, it's in that paper, a severe report that they don't know how long it's going to take for her to talk. Well, I know my God is bigger than their diagnosis. So it's been, she just had another evaluation and they dismissed her. After, after two years only, God is a God in motion, a miracle, miracle in, in motion. motion. And that's what she's been. And she ranked 110% on her tests, a six and a half year old to a seven, and she's five. It's in there. It's all in there. So she's dismissed. Yes. Another thing is, we were praying for her, and Pastor Billy prayed for her a little while ago, and I was standing in faith, and so was he. She was on breathing treatments twice a day for her lungs. So she was on steroids for two and a half years. Well, we went to the lung doctor, and we believe we kept standing. You know, you keep standing with Jesus, you know. Standing means contending. Yes. And we did. See, if, 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 if you or your mother or your sister, whoever, and they get prayers, but somehow they still go to heaven. You know, they're not just going somewhere. They're going to heaven. Tell your, make sure you get that into your, the piece that I have where my mother is, my grandmother is. Oh. But here's what I have more peace with. They contended. They fought. They fought to be healed. Some people just give in to circumstances. There's no fight. There's no what? No resistance. When Moses came off of the mountain, he, he put his ear to the to the ground and Joshua said it sounds like a war down there he said there's no war it's music, it's celebration they've backslid they've quit resisting when you quit resisting the enemy just comes in like a flood we can't help comes our way but we can help whether we resist that or not Amen. and that's what contending means and so when she says we were standing that means you're holding back that report from the doctor you're holding back with some of your naysayer friends who don't read the Bible, who don't believe in miracles. The beating my grandmother took because she loved Oral Roberts and because we got to know Catherine Coleman. You know, the, the, the beating you take from church people. My people actually said in our church, why are you taking him to Pittsburgh to that lady? My grandma said, because what he needs isn't in this church. <laughs> God's a full service menu. He's a full service menu. Get with that program. Read your Bible. Just start with Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. He, Jesus was on his way to a miracle or coming from a miracle. Didn't matter if it was a food miracle, a, a money miracle, a healing miracle, a relationship miracle. Miracles cover a far scope of activity. And what works on one works on all of it. If you contend for it. 
But a lot of people, the older you get, you kind of get, you know, just you take the easy way. I understand that. But if you can work that remote, come on, if you can stay up late and watch a full-length movie, if you can stand over Thanksgiving dinner for three or four hours and do all of that, then you can take a little bit of time and just thank him and read a couple chapters. It's not a magic book, but it is a miracle book. And faith will come. And that's what happened here. That's what they fought with, right? Isn't that what they fought with? Mm -hmm. You fought with faith? Yes. And so when we went to the lung specialist two weeks ago in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. well, we went to Wexford, but he's, he's from Pittsburgh. Um, he did a lung test on her. And it says right here, stop the inhalers. No more steroids. Her lungs are great. Her lungs are great. So, so if I flew you guys to a, a where could I take? I want to take you somewhere and put you on television. Daystar, would you go to Daystar? We're going to Tampa. Tampa. In June. Is that, can anything good come out of Tampa? Clearwater. Tampa. We're going. We were going to go by your studio last time. We were there last year. We yeah. took a vacation. Oh, well, we're going back. <laughs> we're going back in June. <laughs> if you find that studio, you call me up. <laughs> okay. I don't know, but we were going to go. But anyways, we're going again in June to Florida. Make sure I know about it. Okay. okay. Where would you be staying? We are staying on Clearwater Beach at the Hyatt Hotel. How many days you stay in there? I'm um, 10. No, nine. Nine, nine days. days. Why so long? That's a long time. Well, because we're retired, and I'm not fighting cancer anymore. I'm free, and it's our time to, whenever we can go and do, this is what we do, and we take her. We've never been able to travel in our lives because he always worked. And so when he retired, you know, God was good. And so now we can travel. And her name again? Camilla. Camilla. Hold Camilla up. Let everybody see Camilla. There's Camilla. <laughs> yeah. She likes, yeah. She likes Camille. <laughs> we thank you, dear Jesus. We give you praise. Oh, wow. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. We just thank you. We just thank you for a little. Can reach your hands out to little Camilla? There's definitely a destiny written all over this. We don't know who, where, why, all of that, but we do know the touch of the Master is on Camilla. We thank Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit for Camilla. That she would always have a heart prone, prone towards the Lord. That the Holy Spirit would always be her guardrails. That she'd have no place to fall off her guardrails of God over Camellia. Camille, we thank you for her. We thank you for this wonderful family and these amazing reports. Come on, give God a big shout. Come on. Come on, hurry up, everybody. Come on, we got to give God a shout. I believe. Say it. I believe in Wow. So is this mine or is this yours? Can you can I you want to help her up so I can get permission here? Whoa. Can I is this reports for me or for us? Yes, these are for you. So you have a copy of these? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. Beautiful. Can I just share one more thing? Sure. So I had um stage three cervical cancer and I came here three times and he prayed and God delivered me. I went through the process, but I was set free. And I just went to the doctor two weeks ago and he said, everything is good. But after I got done with the cancer treatment last June, my knee started hurting really bad. And it's like, <laughs> why all of a sudden is my knee hurting? What's a knee? Yeah. It was weird. I never had pain before. Right. It got to the point where I was using a walker. I couldn't move. Like, I couldn't go upstairs. Hurry, hurry, hurry. What okay, happened? Okay, sorry. Hurry, hurry. Anyways, 
I watched you on TV, because <gasps> we have it on a lot. I watched you on TV and you said something, there's a tear in a knee and you prayed and two days later, the pain's been gone. <laughs> Ask him. I haven't had any pain. <laughs> I just keep praising Jesus. I don't know what else to do, but he's the best. I think God put us together. That's what I think. I think this is quite Jesus. a team right here. Yeah. But now just I'm battling with sugar. Well, you just conti continue to contend and praise him. But I would okay. say that nothing is, there's Teflon all over you. There's Holy Ghost Teflon. Thank you. Nothing can stay long. Nothing can stay long. Now you see it and now you don't. Thank you. Come on, give them a big God bless you. Thank you. Come on, give God a, that's powerful. Can you clap? Can you shout too? Come on. Oh my. You know what enables us to be in Pittsburgh and to do that or wherever we go is people like you whose heart gets touched enough to give money. You know, it, what we do is very costly. There's nobody here that could pay for what we do. For the, all the commercials and television and travel and team. and It's just into the, it's a lot of money. I'm not afraid to tell you that. But we take that money in here. The money you give us becomes a weapon. I mean, this story right here is with this girl. So you leave here tonight. It's with this girl and this family the rest of their lives. She'll be telling somebody that as I'm telling about when that happened when I was nine. You know, so it's just amazing that, that we're privileged to see this. I don't know your financial state, but I'll tell you this. If you give into this ministry, it's good ground. And you will prosper. I'm not a poor man. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to stand and tell you I have all these millions of dollars, but I'm prosperous. We pay every bill we have. And partners like you make that happen. But he said, what if I get mad at you and I don't pay you anymore? Then God will raise somebody else up. Well, that's arrogant. No, that's, I believe that. It's taken me a while to get there. Find good soil, wherever. If it's not here, find it somewhere. And sow that seed. Just because somebody hurt you where you sowed money before doesn't mean it's going to hurt you here. You've got to give money somewhere on a regular basis. That's what the Bible teaches. We just try to do things the right way. But after hearing this story here, I'd be emptying up my pockets. I'd be giving you Lincoln, Ben Franklin, <laughs> George Washington. Who's on the $100 bill? I don't even know who's on the $100 bill. Who's on Franklin? Franklin, I'd get Franklin out there. Who's on the 50? Grant. Who? Grant. Well, you guys know your hundreds and your 50s. <laughs> I'd get those checks out there. Listen to me. That's what God does. This is the hour for revival. Our country is in a perplexing place. The soul of our nation is at stake. I believe the only thing we can need is a revival, not the next president, but a revival. Come on, say a revival. What's going on over here? Hi, Billy. Um, I'm just giving a testimony, and I also need a healing. Um, 18 years ago. 18 years ago. It's 18 years. I've been a partner for 18, 18 years. 18 years. I received a healing from 22 years of severe chronic pain in my back. It went instantly at the First Presbyterian Church. At First Presbyterian? Yep. And then three years ago, I was diagnosed with... Um, bowel duct cancer, stage four. Oh. And I came here at Station Square. Okay. And a year, no, it, it'll be. Bowel duct cancer, stage yeah, four. Yeah, it's very rare. And they gave me a year at the most to live. And I came and you told me there will be no more cancer in you. And I went to the doctors and I, and I had chemo which destroyed me, but that's, um, and I had radiation, special radiation. But when I went to the doctors, he sat, he's come in and he said, I have to sit here and talk to you, Linda. He said, by rights, you shouldn't be sitting here. 
he said, but the cancer is totally gone. Oh! So I told Boy, them. That, that was a Walmart hand clap. Come on, somebody <laughs> give, somebody give God a shout. Can anybody give him a shout? Oh. Amazing. It all works. Yeah, miracles in medicine can mix well together as long as you give him the glory. It's whenever you give medicine the glory that it doesn't work. God uses all, he'll use nutrition, he'll use doctors. He does. It's what he does. He, he used Dr. Luke on Paul. He used the, the balm of Gilead, which was a, a rensin that was found in the bark of a tree in Jeremiah's day. He used the, the, the Samaritan to pour in oil and wine. God's not exempt from using medicine. He doesn't like when what he created gets more credit than the creator. Why give the creation credit whenever he made those trees? If you want to say, boy, I'm thankful for that rinsing in the tree, but I'm more thankful for the God that made the tree. Come on, say, I'm thankful for the medicine, but I'm more thankful for the God who gave that combination to the doctors, who guided the hands of those skilled surgeons. In this day and age, to be under anesthesia in the hands of somebody you don't even know, in this day and age, my trust is in you. My trust is in you, dear Lord Jesus. So, that's a, so what are we doing but here tonight? The chemo has destroyed all the nerves in my So there's no feet. cancer tonight in you? I'm still in remission, and it'll be two years in August. Well, that's called healed. Healed. Yeah, I'm healed. Uh, yeah, that That's can't. called healed. Uh, but okay. the, I have nerve damage so Where's bad. Your, so what's that mean? You can't feel? I, I have pain and burning and Is it stabbing. burning now? Yes. You're sure? My feet. Is it my burning? My legs. Yes. Right now? And I have. Is it burning now? Yes, and my nerves, and my toes, and my hands. It's about to go. I, yes, it's Lord, about I know to, you it's can about. do it. <laughs> Come on, somebody give God a shout. Come on, my <laughs> word. Boy, I don't know what shout means around here. I don't know. I remember, I remember this lady very well. And she has been a faithful, faithful partner. You know, and people say, well, you, you guys all preach this healing, and yet everybody died, even people that prayed for, it, prayed for you. And Catherine, she passed. Oral Roberts passed. I said, but that's not the point. You're missing the point. Nobody wants to go before their time. Christians shouldn't be afraid of death because we know where we're going. But we want to get as much life out of here while we can. I don't mind going, but I don't want to be told when to go. Because the longer the devil's trying to take you out here, there must be some specific purpose for your life that's going to hurt him. Come on, put your hands up and say, I want to go in God's time, in God's way. I don't want to be taken. I want to give it up. Come on, give God a big shout. Come on. I'd like to give a testament yes. for my youngest son, Grant Kingsley. Oh. He's 23 right now, and he came when he was a little boy. He got moved into a school district where he couldn't read. He was the worst they had, um, and they gave him special extra support people. Mm -hmm. So he had one person that followed him, and even though he had all the extra, he just couldn't get it. And he came up and he said, Mommy, I want Pastor Billy to pray for me. So he quietly, you prayed for him. He said, I don't want to be in the dummy class anymore. Because they kept pulling in him the out. what class? He called it the dummy class because they'd pull him out <laughs> for the extra support. He was in fifth grade and he still was at the two and a half grade level. So even with all the extras, wow. you prayed. And six months later, they called me and the special reading person What'd you do with Grant Kingsley? He's reading. So they were all excited. Well, I came to report to you today that he will be 
graduating with high honors, without any disability classes. He didn't want any of that. He wanted to do it on his own. And he will be graduating next week. And I am also praying that his grandfather and his dad will get to be there. They will. They will. They want to be. They will. They will. Let's call it done. It's done. Come on, you just can't pray. You can't, you, you gotta, you gotta put that authority down. Come on, just give God a big shout. Come on. Come on, give him a big, big shout. Let's help her up. Let's help her up. Your name is higher than a... Give me your hand. Your name is Jesus. It's okay. It's okay. It's Lord. Uh -huh. Your name. I got her. I got her. I got her. You're strong. You're strong. You're doing good. You're doing good. Huh? The only reason, the only reason, is there's a little bit of fear here. That's, a, that's the only reason. That's going to go. It's leaving. You're going to be strong. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I told a guy in Presby Church down this. He was, he was paralyzed for 20 years in a wheelchair. I was praying for him like this to get out of the wheelchair. He said, you're embarrassing me in front of all these people. Because we, I don't know what we had, a pretty good crowd. And I said, I'm not embarrassing you. I said, I'm here to help you. And he said, but I came here for prayer. I said, well, did anybody tell you this was a healing service? Healing service. He said, but I came for prayer. I said, okay, I'll pray then you get healed. He just couldn't connect. You know why? We're so used to getting prayer expecting nothing. We get prayer to feel better about the fact that I got prayer, but you don't really expect to change. We're missing so many miracles. You've been faithful. You have sowed money into this ministry. Amen. If anybody has a right to call it back in, it's you do. I love the Lord. I know, I, I know what he can do. Oh, I know that. Put your hands up. Come on. See, I receive. I receive. I'm going to hold you right here. I'm not going to let you fall. Okay. I receive your I receive. healing, Lord. I receive. Jesus, help me. No fear. No, no fear. fear. Just receive. Receive. Receive, Just receive. Lord. Yeah. Your name is higher than any other. Come on, your name. Your name is Jesus. Your name, Your name is Lord. Come on, everybody. Your name, Your name, Your name is higher than any other. Your mighty name. But I call you Lord. I call you Lord. When I was young and you fell under the power, it meant something. Today, people or ministers are playing with this. It's become a game in the meetings. Just boom and boom and boom. And, and it's sad, but it's cheapening the experience. Don't let somebody who's really trying to cheapen the experience by giving you a power of suggestion. Only you can demand the, the result of whenever you're going under that power. By the time you hit that floor, it's like, dear, call on him. We, we need to become more invisible. Yeah. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Yes. Catherine Kuhlman didn't try to be seen. She didn't try to make people fall. She didn't go like that and start making people fall. That wasn't her way. They began to fall accidentally because she would say, you know, I just think it's an amazing night. And they would, Rose would go down. Listen to somebody who knew her who's been there. This stuff going on today is plastic. 
and you're not people aren't requiring anything from being down here like this that's why with a crowd this size I'm just thrilled we're able to do this take a little bit of time and help people like this this works but you got to work it this isn't for people to just come and pretend and say I got prayer this is for people to come and say hey give me something to fight with when I go home I'll give you scripture, I'll give you whatever you want, but you got to go home and begin to believe that as I live out my days, I don't expect worse vision, worse uh, hearing, aches and pains. And Come on, see, I'm going to sleep all night. If I get hurt, I'll get healed. If I have surgery, I'll come through it. If I have a biopsy, they won't find anything. <laughs> come on, give God a shout. Come on. Come on. Come on. You've got to be careful. You'll just go the way of the people that you hang with instead of the way that God wants you to go. You, our faith walk is so personal. And it's contingent upon how well you walk with him and how much you believe. This is the great lady right here. I, I know this lady. What'd she say, 20-some years? I think she said 18 years. How are you feeling down there? Okay. Yeah. You want to get up? Sure. Let's help her up. Be careful with her, guys. Bring her up slow. Under, put your hands underneath her. Oh. There you. You wore your slippers to church. I can't wear shoes or what? or socks. The compression hurts so bad on my feet. Is your feet hurting now? A little. A little. Yeah. I haven't been able to wear socks. Or Tina, would you do me a favor? Would you come and take this precious lady? I want you to go out that hall, that's hallway there. Go back in this room. I think there's carpet back there, right? Just walk with her a little bit. I'm going to have Tina walk with you. Okay. I think, I think someone just needs to walk and hold you a little bit. You're going to be fine. But look, this fear is leaving you. There's no reason to be afraid. I just want to go I know. I, no, 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 don't do that. Prisoner in my body. No, you're not a prisoner. See, you're you're, you're talking wrong. Okay. And you, know, you could never. I'd never allow you to talk in that way in front of me. Okay. If I was with you, I would just say, "Lady, shape up." Shut up, right? <laughs> shut up and no. I didn't say shut up. I said <laughs> shape up. <laughs> because I know, I know our mighty God and what He can do. Then say that. I know. I know. Just, let's just abbreviate this. Come on. Just, okay. I want you to say with Tina out here. Okay, Tina. I receive. I receive. Come on, put both hands up. I receive. I receive. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I receive. I receive. This seems childish to you, I know. It does. That's, what, that's why he said, unless you become like children. It's simplified. We get complicated. We get intelligent. Thank you. <laughs> You're going to be fine. You hear me? You're going to be fine. Trust in the Lord. That's it. <laughs> Just Amen. walk with Tina just a little bit. Okay, You'll be better than none. Come on, give them a big God bless you. Come on. You. Come on, a mighty, mighty shout. Hey, you know what I'd like to do? I need you to help me in this offering tonight as we were talking about this. Come on, make your checks payable to the World Outreach if you're writing a check out. If you're giving cash or credit card, I believe there's an envelope. Ken has one right here. It's right, I think it was on your chair, correct? Just fill that out. Please give me your email address. And any other information you want to give me, can you, you can put a prayer request right on there. But give your very, very best offering tonight. And that will be more than enough for us to do what we need to do. Amen? Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord, what a night. Each one of these stories has the merit in themselves. A merit in themselves. Anybody else? Testimony quickly. Am I missing anybody? Yes, sir. What happened to you? Tell me what happened to you last month, sir. Help him up. Yes, sir. Yeah. Last month I came here and I came up here in a stroller and you said, you don't need that. Go walk back. I walked 15 foot just holding the guy's hand, walk, walk back to the chair. And uh, I've been this way for like, uh, I think four months or so. 
and my wife lost her job taking care of me, and God made a way for us to have, you know, to live and, and move and have our being. But I've seen the anointing on you, on your lips, on your heart. You have a good heart and a cloud of glory behind you. Oh, I take that, dear and Jesus. When we came here last time, you were so hilarious. <laughs> and I love that. That's it. a new one right there, right? <laughs> and uh, I, I wrote down the stuff in on the check or on the little card. It took me, it, it took you two months or was it two weeks to get the thing and fill it out. I plan on giving you more and more because I got an overabundance in my income tax. I'm I like so this happy. man. I like this man a lot. <laughs> You're a great blessing, and I look forward to oh. you. I, I remember Catherine. Yeah. I remember Benny Hen, and uh -huh. I come from a ministry that we worked at uh, uh, the Stambaugh Auditorium. Oh, you worked at the Stambaugh. Yeah, we were in the ministry uh, in there, and we knew the people from the... Uh, that were their maintenance people and they let us come in and uh, we had services there like every week for a couple years. Wow. And I appreciate you very much, Billy. You're a great blessing to me. Thank you so much. Give me your name again. My what? Your name. Your name. First of all. My that. name is Kenneth Bosick. Kenneth Bosick. Yeah. Uh -huh. My wife had Barbie dolls when she was little and she had a Ken doll. And she married one. <laughs> uh, let's get to the offering right here. Stand to your feet all over the place. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I'm going to be praying for people in just a few moments. We're going to worship a little bit more. And then we're going to watch God do some amazing things right here tonight. Come on, put your offering up over your head tonight. Come on, say everything that I have, including myself, belongs to God. I was purchased. I'm a purchased possession, bought and paid for by the blood of Jesus. Everything that I have, I owe it to him. He only asks for a portion. I give that portion willingly. I thank God for the stories tonight, the testimonies tonight. I'm going to add one other story to that. It's going to be my testimony. I give with faith in the grace of God. Amen and amen. amen. Come on up, everybody, quickly. It's a blessing in a shoe. Jesus. Jesus is love. What a contender you oh, are. Uh, yes, you're really getting better. My eyes are getting better. Uh, well, when I go up, you come up. Purchase <laughs> What's that? I can't believe how much you're participating. Who's the, the ball player? This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is Savior. we were doing all that testifying our friend right over here in the front row come and tell the people what you just told me come here and tell them
Wait. Yes, yes. I'm very happy, very happy. See, see, you got it. People are so quick to react. What, you, you pray for somebody? No, nah, no. Nah. I mean, you can't even taste a milkshake that quick. Come on. <laughs> You're just waiting to not believe. 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 Some, some mosquito bites take overnight to swell up. You don't even know something bitch you until you wake up the next morning. Give, give God some time. Trust Him. You believe that's why you came. Now trust Him. I believe what I know, but I, I have to trust what I don't know. And we don't know the timing of this. We have to trust. Mm. I'm so thrilled for you, sir. Thank you very much. I mean it. And thank the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. You keep treating that redhead nice over there. I'll be happy. If she takes care of me. That, she's the reason. What do you mean I'm, if she takes care of no, me? No, I said she does. Oh, she does. She's the reason I'm alive. She, she saved my life three times. She got me to hospital one time. Couple wild rides, but she got me there. Couple wild rides. <laughs> Give that man a big God bless you. Come on. He touched me. He touched me. Come on, everybody. Let's stand to our feet. He. Come on. Oh. He. And oh, the joy. And the joy that. me and made me since I met my blessed Savior and since me I will never cease to praise him to praise him Come on, I'll shout it. I'll shout it. Yeah, while he turns. Every single voice, come on. He. Come on, every voice. He touched me. He's healing disc herniation. Anybody with any kind of disc herniation in your back, he's healing it. Right now, this power is on this lady right here. Here's the power of the Holy Ghost. Boom. It's moving all through you, ma'am. It's moving all through you. That which you ha can't get out of yourself, God is getting you out of the straitjacket. He's getting you out of the restriction and the limitation that's been placed on you. You're going to wonder, how did this ever happen? How did it ever happen? There's so many people, Pastor Billy, that are against me. My circumstances, there's people in my family. There's, oh, Pastor Billy, Pastor Billy. And the Lord is saying, you just watch what I'm about to do. You just watch. You just watch. Family members will be dumbfounded. Oh, that's the word. They'll be dumbfounded. The same thing that happened to Zacharias in the temple. He was supposed to be a man of faith, but he was a doubter. And he was working in the very temple. And God told him, you'll be dumbfounded and stuck in this temple with nothing to say until baby Jesus is born. And what's about to happen to you, it's going to come from the, who said, what's her name? Wendy. Wendy. Wendy, it's coming from the inside out. There's a, there's a springing up of hope and faith in you. And you're going to begin to be the most positive force of righteousness in your whole family. Amen. In your whole house. Get ready, Wendy. 
you better get ready. Oh, dear Lord, I'm afraid, wind, you're going to cause a storm. I just see it coming. Come on, somebody give God a shout, I'll tell you. Come on, give him a mighty praise. But as I prayed that for her, there's also somebody else with a lower lumbar. And some kind of a, who is this with the lower back? God's healing it right now. Come to me, come to me. Bring that lady, the power's on her. Come, get her, catch her, the power's right on her. Go, lady, just go. That's, it's a power of the Holy Ghost right there. I'm telling you, I saw it. We got to get out of, get rid of some zombies and get some living people. Holy God. <laughs> Get rid of these zombies. Hey, hey, come here, man. What do you think of that? I do. I, I'm just... Uh, uh, you don't know I what to say. I want to believe it. I well, do. no, you want to mean you want to... I've wanna, just been through, no, like don't you say, said. I want to say I choose. I believe it. I choose to. Choose. I've been through. If you ever had trouble believing, say, I choose to believe. I choose to I believe choose. because... I can't hear you. Say, I choose. I choose. I choose because they found a lymph node in me, and I'm saying, no, Jesus has healed me. It's not there. I choose I to believe. I choose to believe it. I choose Thank to believe you. it. My, my, my. Come in, come in. Hurry, lady. I brought you something. You brought me what? What'd you bring me? My church. No from your church. You brought me a wrist, man. I want you to wear that. That's Ma'am, from I, don't my know, I don't like wearing these little bands. Well, can you could carry it? Okay. Can you carry it for me? Because it's from my church. What Pastor church? Pastor Jay Gilbert on Cornerstone. And, yeah. And where's that church at? In uh, North Hills. It's uh, McKnight Road. Okay. I'm sure it's a good Pastor church. Pastor Jay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, I believe in the scripture. You ever heard a hard if, copy? If if he's wore, on there. If I wore everything people gave me, it would not be nice. Well, this is not why I come up here. I want to dedicate this uh, service to Jerry Seville. He was I'll a friend be, of I'll mine. Be. I'll and be I out, loved I'll be, him. I'll be out there in the service. I was invited. Oh, to the God bless you. I love that man. He was a he great man. He taught me a lot about He was faith. a great man. He taught me a lot about Jerry faith. Jerry Savelle went to heaven just a few days ago. Oh, I talked to Jerry. And they're Terry. having a celebration service for him this Friday. And you're going. You're oh, yeah. blessed to be invited, mm -hmm. Pastor Billy. Yeah. I've got healed a hiatal hernia here, and I've got healed of a lot of things. Well, dear powerful Lord. man of God. Oh, we're learning. We're all just learning. The faith is what gets us here. Oh, we're learning. Let her go. The power's on her. The power's on her. Wow. You know, there's nothing quite like when you surrender not to a man, to the Holy Spirit. Come on, say, I surrender. To the Word of God, to the Holy Spirit. I don't need to surrender to a man. Get rid of that problem. If the Spirit's moving through that woman or moving through that man, you don't have to get in your mind, I'm surrendering to them. There's too many, there's too many blocks in our thinking it keeps us from receiving. This lady here is precious. Would you cover, what's that, a rug? What is that? That's your sweater. Lady, we could just fill the whole room with that thing right there. No, but people give me scarves. They give me ladies' clothes. They give me men's clothes. They give me jackets. Here, wear this. Would you wear that? Would you wear that? And I'm thinking... Somebody gave me that. Somebody gave you that. What's happening to you, ma'am? When, uh, just a f about five minutes ago, when the lady, this lady... I saw her teetering in the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. and I was just touched. I thought, oh, you know, and the, and the Holy Spirit started moving. Started He's moving on stronger you. than I felt oh, it for so, so long. Oh. And I was healed of uh, thyroid nodules here um, maybe six or seven years ago. Thyroid nodules, you were yes. healed right here. Yes. Well, I don't know this building, yeah. but under uh -huh. the ministries. Uh -huh. And um, I was to have a biopsy the very next morning right. in one of the hospitals in Pittsburgh. And uh, they said, well, they couldn't find them. They couldn't, that the technician was just, you know, really scrambling. And he called for his boss and she came in and I told her, I said, oh, I was healed. Jesus. But when you mentioned lumbar. Shh. Just receive, just receive. Just receive. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> just receive. I want you to talk, but not too much. Not too much. Just receive. This is holy. This is a very holy place. Very holy place right here. 
Not to hear me talk that much. I've already talked too much. I have. We've got to just watch God do some work here, right? Is that right? Come here, give me the shingles guy. Come on, give me the shingles guy. He's here for a miracle. I'm glad you came. What do you think of this so far? Interesting. Was you raised this way? Uh, you mean, um, maybe not that so much that. Maybe not this way. Right. Let's right. put your hands up. Come on, get your hands up. What's your first name? Mark. Come on, Mark. Put your hands up. Holy Ghost, I pray for this shingles would begin to leave his body tonight. Every sign, every sign of this rash, scabbing, pain, any invasive activity, let these shingles begin to leave the body. Because Holy Spirit says so. Because Holy Spirit says, leave that body. Just leave it. Leave it. Leave it completely. And all the pain with it. All the pain with it. We give you praise. We give you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. Check it for me. Check it. That's a little better, sure. Uh huh. It does. Come on, give God a shout. <laughs> you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like the Holy Ghost. There's no one else. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do. I thought that was you. I'm so good to see you. Hi. You doing good? <laughs> okay. What do you need tonight? I've been under major, major stress, like extreme stress, and I'm having all kinds of symptoms, um, pains in the stomach. I can't eat everything, nausea, and then just pain, just a lot Put of Put your hands up. I'm just sensing a strong reconnection here to the Lord, to the Holy Spirit. Life got in the way. Things happened. But God said he's never, ever once left you. He's with you. But there's a season about to hit your life like no other. Like no other. Hmm. You're going to get the calf. You're going to get the robe. You're going to get the <laughs> ring. And you're going to get the party too. And the party. Don't forget the party. Don't forget the party. Somebody better give God a shout. <laughs> Come on, give him a shout. And for all the years that you served broken, for all those years that you gave him while you were yet broken and had to be quiet about those brokenness on the inside of you, quiet, you suffered silently. God is again saying, I'm going to heal you. I'm going to bless you. And I'm going to use you to bring other people together and heal them. Don't be afraid of letting people know some of your story. Nothing to be ashamed of. Nothing to be ashamed of. Give her a big God bless you. Come on. Come on, give God a big, big shout. Yes, ma'am, quickly. I'm scheduled for lumbar uh, injections next week. Uh huh. And I don't want to have it. Then, let's, not, then, uh, then let's just do it that way. Let's do it that way. Come on up here. Yeah, both of you. Uh huh. Both of you. Both of you. That's right. Both of you. Husband and wife, I believe. How you doing tonight? What brings you to the meeting tonight? We just haven't been here for a while. We missed you. <laughs> oh. Tell me where you're from. What, where you, what church you go to? Hartville, Ohio. We go to Identity Church in Hartville, Canton. Hartville, Ohio. And what's that near? Is that near Youngstown? Between Akron and Canton. Oh, Akron and Canton. Mm -hmm. and so what do you need tonight? What are you after for tonight? More of God. We just want to hear him. You know, the prayer of Jabez, Chronicles 4.10. I'll just summarize it in one word, expansion. 
God's about to do an expansion work, but you've got to get ready for this because it's really not what you're expecting. You'll be driving home tonight. What's he mean, expansion? It's hard to describe that. God does not expand external borders until he first expands internal borders. So the first level of this is God getting you ready for whatever this surrendering to the unknown. <laughs> surrendering to the unknown, whether that's... It has to involve your time. It has to involve your imagination. It has to involve some of the simple things of life, right? I would say some, some formal passages of Scripture. But God, I'd journal this. I'd get a book special, set it aside, and just do some journaling. Because something's about, there's a plan unfolding here. America's going through some real great changes this year, big changes. It would do all of us well to really seek the Lord for ourselves and our families as to what, what course do we want to take. A lot of great changes coming. We need a revival. Come on, say, we need, we need a revival. We need a, and there's healing in both of your bodies. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I just heard it strong. Healing in both bodies. Inflammation leaving in both bodies. Oh, wow. Come on, somebody give God a shout, I'll tell you. Come on here, sweetheart. So what's happening? This I heard ever you said I heard what you said in the beginning. Yeah, I've been dealing with a lot in my life. Um, in my uh, family life with my mom. In my personal life, and come on, let's get, let's get through this. I'm going to help you. I want to get moving. Let me talk, okay? okay. You're hurting right here. Okay. You want that to go away? Yes. Put your hands up. Here's how you make it go away. Just say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I choose to forgive. <laughs> I choose to forgive. I'm holding everything in. I'm holding everything. In. I have prisoners in me. I have prisoners in me. I'm letting them go tonight. I'm letting them go tonight. You left me go. <laughs> Oh, there's the power right there. There's the, there's the power. <laughs> Come on, somebody give God a shout. Come on. Hey! Come on, give him a mighty praise. Uh, yes, sir. I have arthritis in the, my spine. In your spine. In my neck, going into my hip, down uh, into my leg. I can't hardly walk. Is it hurting now? It's not hurting now, but whenever I it's walk. It's not hurting now. Whenever I go and sit down a while, then it starts hurting again. Well, let's right. find an empty seat here and test it. Right here by Pam. Right here. Because I have a hard time. Oh, I don't think you will. Not tonight. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Come on. One, two, three, four, five. It's a little better. Better. Yeah. How's the pain? Still having a lower part of my back. Yeah. Have another seat. <laughs> One more time we're going to do this. You ready? It's like down in my leg. Oh, too. come on, sir. Let's do it. Let's talk about Jesus. Come on. Okay. I love Jesus. I know you do. That's why you're here. One, two. Look at this. Three. <laughs> it's better. Yeah, a little bit. Uh-huh. Master, I give you praise for the beginning of this miracle. I pray you continue to take away the inflammation and the bone spurs. I thank you for removing bone spurs. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty Oh, the power of the Holy Ghost here. Whew. You felt that? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What'd that feel like? I, I don't know. I felt like nothing I felt before. I mean, the power just went right through him. This guy right here. Come, Lady Mary, here. How you doing, ma'am? What brings you here tonight? I'm here with my friend. We're from Williamsburg, Virginia. Williamsburg? We used to see her at uh, Faith Landmark, you know, church. Oh, yes, Faith Landmark, Pastor Gary. Yeah. And... Sherry. 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 Yes. Great people. Mm -hmm. Great yes. people. So what can I do for you tonight? I have, uh, the doctor says I have osteoporosis. Osteoporosis. But I believe that I don't. This mighty touch of the whole, oh. Oh my. Just, 
What do you think of that? Isn't that amazing? He's moving in your body, ma'am. There's also some, some blockage he's removing in your arteries. There's been some issues down there lower in your lower abdomen area, and he's removing blockage. Because you came tonight, you won't need surgery. You avoided surgery by being here tonight. Come on, give God a big shout. Come on. Yeah. With our hearts before you as a token. What are we doing here tonight? What do we want to do? Okay. My daughter had her thyroid removed. Your daughter had what? Her thyroid, her thyroid removed, removed. removed. Yeah. And she, we prayed that God would give her yes. a new thyroid. Yes. And my daughter back here. What's that now? My daughter right there. Okay. She has that blood uh, okay. uh, problem. Okay. And she have to wear a mask all the time. She has a mask on. Yes. Okay. Bring her up, sure, bring her up. Come, come, come. I pray for a lot of masked people. Like blind Bartimaeus said. Yeah. The only reason I'm going to pray for you is because you're going to get a miracle. Amen. That's why you're here. Yes. Thank you for coming. Thank Give you. her a God bless you for coming here tonight. <laughs> come on, I mean, I want to hear somebody. Give a little extra. What? Whoa! <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> See, I, I know what some of you were thinking and do think, and that's why you're wrong. That's why your mind needs to change your thinking. You thought, what's all he doing with him? He's trying to force it. I'm trying to work a miracle. Amen. If you read your Bible, 1 Corinthians 12, 10 says, one of the gifts is the working. Some people need a little bit of help. Yeah. I need somebody to agree with me. That's why. Yeah, yeah, well, I just did, and look, you're, look what you're doing. You're doing good. You can't feel sorry for people. This is not a feel sorry for you meeting. That's not what I do. Jesus challenged people. If you don't challenge something, it'll never change. It'll never change unless you challenge it. I'm waiting to go to bed tonight so I don't have sleep out in you no more. You're going to what now? I don't have sleep out in you. He's no. all, his faith has already said, I'm not gonna, I can't wait to go to sleep tonight because I won't have sleep apnea. <laughs> it's already working over time. <laughs> all you need is a little bit of a miracle. It just springs up into every ear. Pretty soon it'll be saying, ah, oh, the money will show up. It jumps on your money, it jumps on your healing, it jumps on your marriage, it jumps on your prodigal son. Speaking of prodigal son. Speaking of, I wasn't speaking of prodigal son. <laughs> I was just talking. My son, he sees me being healed tonight. I expect him to go and maybe give his life to the Lord. Well, because, that's uh, a loving father. So because love, uh, right so now, he thinks he knows what he does, but he's got a hardened heart. You talk about the well, Lord, you we'll, don't want we'll, to talk about We'll it. believe for him. Like, let's just, what's, your, what's his name? Frank. We'll just believe for Frank. Okay. The Frank that God would draw Frank, right? Right. Have a good seat. You jumped right out of that chair. <laughs> See if you can do that again. Come on. You said, hey, Pastor Bailey, and you jumped. <laughs> That's pretty good. Come on. Say that. What do we have over here? Autoimmune. So you're this. You started all this earlier this evening <laughs> from Youngstown. Yeah. Where's your boyfriend at? He's over there. Come on, boyfriend. Come on up here. <laughs> um, I've had autoimmune issues for uh, some years, um, but within the last eight months, it's gotten so bad that I've developed allergies to like most foods. So I can only eat five different foods right now. Five foods. That's it. Yeah, I've lost like 40 pounds. It's been. What five are you allowed to eat? Um, not allowed, just things I don't have allergic reactions to, but uh, sweet potatoes, broccoli, chicken, blueberries, and eggs. That's it. That's all I eat. So what's the plan? I would love to be healed so that I can eat. So you can eat <laughs> so everything can eat. imaginable. <laughs> that would be nice. Mm -hmm. Put your hands up. 
And Holy Spirit, I thank you. I thank you, dear Jesus. 80% of your immune system is in your stomach. Yes, it is. That's why this diet thing is working. That's why it's having the effect on her that it is. That's why rivers of living water are supposed to flow out of your belly. Got to get this health thing right, this nutrition stuff right. It's, that's why he made us. That's why we're all made that way. And Master, I thank you. This young girl came tonight for this wonderful touch. And she's a good girl. She's a good girl. Mm. We give you such praise. We give you such a part of the Holy... Oh, there's the Holy Ghost right there. Oh, Jesus. Lady, that's the Holy Spirit on you. Don't you be ashamed of this. Don't you be ashamed of this. <laughs> Never be ashamed of this. He's put this in you. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Wow. Let her be who she's supposed to be, okay? Promise? Because that's going to scare you a little bit. I can tell. Right? You going to let her be that way? Do you want to go that way too? Put your hands up. You might as well go that way too. Put your hands up. <laughs> Come on. Hi, 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 hi. Don't just say, Jesus, I need you. Jesus, I need you. In my life. There's no one like you. You love me, not if or because, just because you love me. I give you my life tonight. In Jesus' name. I power the Holy Ghost. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. Let's give God a praise, people. Come on, come on. Let's help her up, guys. Let's help her up. What do you think of that? He, he gave his life to the Lord, too. And I got a Christian boyfriend. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> I'm going to love him forever. <laughs> Give them to a big God bless you. Come on. Come on, Mr. McDowell. No curveballs here tonight, I'll tell you that. Huh? Pardon me? No curveballs here tonight. No curveballs. Well, it depends on who's giving them. Okay. Nice to meet you. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Nice to be here, being very hopeful. So the, your issue you're fighting is what now? Oh, heavens, I've got a bad heart. Serious cancer came back. I've got mm. uh, COPD, fourth stage. Mm. You name it, I've got it. Where's your, mo where's your pain at tonight? Uh, pain is in my right knee. You were a lefty, weren't you? Yeah. Uh huh. Pain is in the right knee. But I'm not worried about the pain. I'm just hoping that it's part of God's plan for to help me tonight. Beautiful. Put your hands up, Mr. McDowell. Uh, every hand up in the place for Mr. McDowell here. I'm Sam. He's Sam. He's arguing with me already up here at the altar. <laughs> That's what leaders do. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for Sam tonight. This picture for the Indians, this picture for the Yankees and the Pirates. And God, I pray you throw him a, pa a fastball tonight right into his belly with your mighty healing touch. Oh, that he would use this, that his ministry would grow, that he would use his name to help other people know the living God, the living Christ. I pray this cancer be eradicated. I pray that everything he mentioned, the sleep apnea, everything he mentioned would begin to leave this body. Let him be say these words. I don't know exactly what happened, but something has taken place. And let it begin to happen tonight. By the time his little feet hit the front door of where he's... Oh, Lord, that power of the Holy Ghost. Oh. Oh. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Somebody give God a shout. That power of the Holy Ghost. That mighty power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, right here. You, you might as well join your dad, right? Yep, sure. So what are we doing tonight for you? I'm just here to have God's presence in my life. Well, you feel it I'm already, my father. don't you? I do, I do. What a night. The Holy Spirit's so strong right in this area, right in this area. 
Sam, he's moving through your body. I, I, this is more than a feeling. It's a faith. It's more than a feeling. It's a faith. It's part of the glory. He brought you here to preserve you, to sustain you, and heal you. With what years you have left, he wants people to know about the God that found you and the God that you found. Mm. Thank you, dear Jesus, for healing Sam tonight. His presence will be on you, Sam, for the next seven days. Off and on, off and on, off and on. God has started the work that he alone will finish. Come on, everybody give God a big, big shout. Come on. Come on, I want someone to get a little bit excited about this. What's the matter with this place? Huh? Whew. Wow. That's 270 pounds they had to lift. How do you feel right now, Sam? I feel good. I feel good. Do you feel like something happened? I believe so. I believe so. I like those words. I do. Thank you and thank God. Thank you and thank God. You can't get much better than that, right? We don't always know. We just don't know. We can't be Holy Spirit. He can't be us. We trust. But we don't let it end here. This is where we get some, we get some information to fight with, to contend with. Right? Oh, this is the girl right here. Pam's... Sarah, but I mean you're Pam's daughter. Jimmy had to, had to give her too quick, I was going to say, but how are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. What's new with you? Give me an update. Um, I have a testimony. Give um, me one. In 2019, you gave me a word about that God was going to bless me a hundredfold return. And um, during COVID was my best three years of sales. Um, but tell them what you sell. I sell, I'm a kitchen and bath designer, so I'm a cabinetry designer, and I pretty much specialize in kitchens, but um, 20, 21, 22 have been the incredible worst, years. The worst time in, in our history for the past, and it's been your best years. Yes. I mean, God even blessed me when I cared for my mom. I mean, I sold your a million Your mother and was half. amazing. You know she that. She was. You miss her. I know you do. Yeah. But you also know that... She doesn't miss you. Isn't that terrible? I know. <laughs> That's terrible. It's a terrible thing to tell people. Yeah. But she's expecting you. She's getting ready for your arrival. Not anytime soon, but it'll be a glorious day. But your mother was one of the greatest contenders for faith that I've ever met. She just wouldn't quit. And she did get healed. Yeah. Symptoms did leave, and then, you know, for whatever reason, we don't know. I'm so happy for her. I mean, I'm really am. I have peace. I'm happy for her, but I'm proud of you because you had you didn't quit. You didn't get bitter. You're as tender as you now as you were whenever you fought for your mother. You're a special young lady. Put your hands up, Sarah. This is Sarah. How do you pronounce that last name? <laughs> Cholwinski. Cholwinski. What's that? Is that Polish? What is that? Mm -hmm. Okay, there, Polish girl. Get your hands up. We thank you here for just Sarah. Lord, you've kept her. You've kept her. You've kept her safe and strong and sound. And I thank you for that. But now, Master, I pray you begin to pitter-patter her steps. Right within this business. But this is, I'll tell you, young lady, this is not your final destination. This, this, this kitchen stuff is just to prepare you for building people. You're a people person. And God's going to use you to rebuild people. He's going to use all of the foundation from your mother, what he taught you, what you've learned in these meetings. You get ready. You're about to live a total fulfilled life. He's going to send you a Mr. Right. You're going to get Boaz, not Bozo, I'll tell you. <laughs> Part of the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody give God a big shout. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're limping. What's the matter? Back of my knee and my whole back of my leg all of a sudden just is in severe pain. I'm no it's hurting idea. right now? Yes. Do it again. 
Do what again? Do whatever you just did. <laughs> walk? Yeah, just walk backwards. Do the moonwalk. Just walk backwards. What? <laughs> what happened? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Praise the Lord! <laughs> oh my God. Come on, I believe in miracles! In miracles. Come on, boy! Amazing, amazing. What do we have here on the walker? Oh, the walker lady, yes, ma'am. Glad you're here tonight. Thank you. Takes extra effort to come whenever you have to manage one of these. It's an extra trip to the, to the service. So what's going on here? I've had a neurological condition since birth. Oh, okay. And as I get older, the other symptoms have come up, like arthritis and such. Are you hurting now? Uh, I'm not in pain, but I have like a lot of stiffness in my joints. You have a lot of what? Stiffness in my joints. Okay, okay I know what that means. And the neurological condition makes my legs spastic, okay. which is why I have trouble walking, because okay. that affects my balance. Mm -hmm. So who's your doctor? Um, I go to a doctor. Have you heard me ask anybody that tonight? No. No. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah. I go to Dr. Hertel in Erie. Mm -hmm. He's what, is he homopathic? Is he? No, just a regular, a regular. MD. You don't need a regular. You gotta get you gotta graduate from regular. This is so beatable. God's gonna touch you tonight. You're gonna know you've been touched. It's gonna motivate you to go and get some nutrition care. Your body's just missing some few things. But God somehow wants to make this miracle both supernatural and natural. That's what he has for you. That power of the Holy Oh, that's power of the Holy Ghost. We give him praise. Ma'am, that's the power. Let it go. It's the Holy Ghost. Let it go. Don't, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be, we got to catch you right behind you. The power of the Holy Ghost. We give him praise. Praise, praise, praise. That's the power right there. Boy, she felt that. Wow. Did you see that? Did you see that? Mr. Farmer, did you see that when, when that hit her? That's exciting. Come on. I need some workers here. Quickly, what's going on here? A curved spine, yeah, and neck problems, and I want to look up at God instead of down at the floor. Oh, aren't you precious? <laughs> and then my heart, uh, and God's been good. God's just pick been your head good. up. Just pick it up. I'm going to touch your chin. Just pick your head up. Just pick it up. Pick it up. Well, I just moved. That's the Holy Spirit right there. We give you praise. We give you praise. Holy Ghost. Let's all stand up and come to the front. Can we do that tonight? Everybody come to the front. I need you, Lord. Right in the mighty touch. Quickly, quickly, come. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. Right now. I, I lift my hands. I lift my hands. Bow, bow my knees. And Lord. Oh, the power, the power. Power. It's in my neck. Ah, he's touching you there. Come on, I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. Right now. I need you, Lord. I'm happy for you tonight. Touch him again, Master. Touch him again. Power, the Holy Ghost. Lift my hands, bow my knees. You're a good, good girl. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Come out of that cave. Come out of that cave. You can't help him in the cave. He's saying the same thing to you. He said to Elijah, what are you doing here? Time to be reunited with yourself. Time to be one again. It's time. Mm. 
I lift my hands. Come on. I lift my hands. Power of the Holy. Oh, the power. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Ghost. You're all I need. Oh, the Holy Ghost. Come on, and you're all. Oh. Jesus, everybody. Oh, you're all that power. Come on, you're all that I need. You're all. All the power. That power for Tim. You're all. Jesus. Jesus, you're all part of the Holy Ghost. Oh, it is Jesus. Yes, it is. I'm believing for my healing, and I know these are you as his conduit. You're something else. Your family's something else. His blood, His blood has made. Come on again. Oh, it is Jesus. Okay, Carol, part of the Holy Ghost. On Carol. Come on, everybody. It's Jesus in my soul. Part of the Holy to see you. Mighty touch of a whole, oh, the power. Woo! It's all over you. <laughs> this is my story. This is my story. I'm praising my Savior. Spirit. Born of his spirit. Walking. Washed in his blood. Come on, everybody, let's go. This is my story. This is my song. Praising. Praising my Savior all night long. Praising my Savior. Praising my Savior. Let's take a pause a moment. Shh, just take a pause a moment. Don't you put your hands up? We're going to sing the Hallelujah chorus. I want to do it as reverently as we can. God's been good tonight. He's touched so many people. And I want us to sing it with our hands up in the air. Come on, all of us. If you're with us at home tonight watching the stream, join with us. It's not a hard song. We know most, most of us know this. It's what you mean in your heart. You're worshiping Him. 
It says that the, we, we will be around the throne, casting our crowns at his feet. Sooner than what we know. Sooner than what we know. Hallelujah. Come on, every voice. Hallelujah. 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 She's doing good? see you, sir. Mighty touch of the Holy Ghost. That's powerful. Come on, hallelujah! hallelujah. Thanks, Rick. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Right here. such a presence here such a presence here such a presence here on Don and his family by the Holy Ghost by the Holy Ghost by the Holy Ghost my friend thank you, Pastor Bill. Thank you. Thank I love you. you thank you tonight hey I appreciate that you're a good man thank you I'll see you tomorrow night okay Hallelujah. That mighty touch. There it goes, there it goes. Ah. Come on, let's give him a big, big praise all over the place tonight. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Come on, let's give him a big shout. You know, there's been a few people here tonight, right here at this altar, pray that cleansing prayer, not the one that heals your body, the one that gets you into heaven. And I don't want to close any of these meetings until I know that I know that I gave you that opportunity to say yes to the Lord about making him your savior, your personal savior. That may be what's missing in your life. You may think you need a physical healing. You need to get your whole spiritual life in order. I want you to join me right here. Come on, if that's you tonight, I don't want you to come. And join me right here, right now, from all over the place. Quickly, come, come. Look at this. One, two. Come on, come and join with me right here. Let's get this in order. Let's get first things first. And then I'm going to have Rick and Tina pray with you after I get done praying with you. And then they're going to spend a few minutes with you. Come right over here quickly. Come on, all. How many is here? Two? Anybody else? Two? Anybody else joining this? You joining this, sir? Three?
She's, that's good, ma'am. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. That's good. Go. Go, ma'am. Go. Jesus loves how Jesus loves Jesus precious I feel there's two more that need to be standing here. I'm going to sing the song one more time. I'd like those two to come and join with us right here. But there's two of you that you're feeling pulled to be in this crowd right here, this group. Don't miss this moment. Do not miss. You joining here, sir? Come on. Come on up here. Don't. Here's one. I know there's one. I think she's coming. She's coming too. Okay, good. Do not miss this moment. Tomorrow morning here, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. All right, calm down, 10 o'clock. And then tomorrow night at 7. Mm. I want you to pray with me, all of you here, say, Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus there's, no there's no way I can go on without you. Not just in my life, in my life but in charge of my life. Of Tonight I give you the steering wheel. Wash me fresh. Wash me fresh. Cleanse, me with the blood. Cleanse me with the blood. And let me hear your wonderful voice. Me wonderful Give me a hunger I've never had. To know you more than I ever have. I will follow you. I will follow you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Come on, give God a big shout, people. Come on. Come on, hurry. Oh, my God, the power here. Thank you. I want you to spend a minute with Rick and Tina right here. They're going to pray with you for a couple seconds. I promise I'll let you go quickly just to kind of put their hands on you, find out your name and everything. Thank you. Where are you from, sir? Pittsburgh. We're at in Pittsburgh. Northside. North Spring, cool. Spring Hill. Spring Hill. Yes. Okay. They're right here. Rick and Tina, where are you? Here's Tina. Rick's right behind me. You're going to go that way, Rick. I'll take these. Just follow him right over here, please. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, you're going to go. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Labra, we want her to navigate it over that way. Thank you. Here's a nice little CD. Ben David, he sang in Catherine Kuhlman's choir. He's a dear friend, and he performed, he produced this just for these meetings. Who wants this? Right here? All right. How to get a soul cleanse. How to get clean and inner healed on the inside. Who wants this? Four CDs. It'll change Thank your you life. Breaking soul ties. Every one of you need this. There you go, man. Thank you much. Is your wife okay? This is your wife? Bring her to me. Get her up on stage here. Get her up on stage quickly. Die power of the Holy Ghost. Where's the husband? What's going on here? Tell me what's going on here. What's going on here? Huh? She got touched. She got what? She got touched. She got touched in the meeting, yeah. touched right out here. Yeah. It's a fire. Like a fire. Oh, yes, all over my hands. Oh. Be loosed! Be loosed! This fire is not supposed to destroy you. It's supposed to make you. It's supposed to attract that which you're supposed to be attracted to and destroy that which is trying to hurt you. 
You'll never go where you were. You'll never be who you used to be. Everything is forward with you. This is the fire of God burning deep inside of you. You can't be stopped. You can't be stopped. You can't be stopped. You can't be stopped by the Holy Ghost. We give God praise. Come on, give God a praise for this couple. Come on. Come on, give them a big shout. Come on, say, I receive the fire of the Holy Spirit. I receive my next assignment, my new season. And I will follow God. Where he leads, I will follow. Where he leads, I will follow. Where he leads, I will follow. And I'll be with him. I'll be with him. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where everybody sing it. It's a simple song. Come on, where he leads me. Where he leads me, I Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. I tonight Psalm 91 I want you all to read it before tomorrow tomorrow morning tomorrow night just read it read it slow that's your vaccination it's called PS 91 <laughs> come on Sam getting vaccinated with PS 91 read it know it everything is there that you need to move into it okay put your hands up we're going to be closing come on say Holy Spirit Tonight, I've been touched. I receive whatever portion of deliverance and healing you had for me tonight. I will continue to surrender. I need a hunger for the Word of God. I'm going to admit it tonight. I need to get that Word in me at a higher level. Give me that unction. I will serve you all my days. And give you all the praise. Give him a mighty, mighty shout. Can you do that? Come on, Jesus got a hold of my life. Jesus got a hold of my life. And he won't let me go. Come on, everybody, Jesus. Jesus got a hold of my heart. this is amazing what happened here I mean she just got sovereignly touched out here in the audience but she's having a moment in, in the Holy Spirit doesn't have to be this way but whatever way God's doing it with you but move closer to him go deeper with him trust him he has a plan for you that's way more exciting than you do for you I, I promise you that I promise you that where are you guys from again in Pittsburgh are you from Pittsburgh from where? From Knoxville. Knoxville, Tennessee. Yeah. Oh, okay, you came all the way up here. Uh huh.
Uh, she's your wife, right? And what's her name? Christy. Who? Christy. Christy. Yeah. Christy, that's the Holy Spirit. He's, he's really touching you, Christy. You're moving into a new season. You're not, you're not stuck where you are, Christy. There's no entrapment, no entrapment. That's it, that's it. It's it, setting you free right there. You better let it go, Chris. He's letting you free. Amazing. What a beautiful, beautiful night. Well, if you believe tonight was powerful, give God a big shout. Can you do that? Come on. Wow. We have two more meetings tomorrow morning at 10, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Good night. God bless you.